Hello, Dave Prouse here with the tech question of the day for February 17th, 2017. And this is on the topic of application updates. An update that was recently installed to a mission critical application caused a crash during the middle of the workday. The mission critical application was down for several hours while a previous version was reinstalled. This resulted in a loss of data and revenue. Which of the following could best prevent this issue from happening again? Is it A, application hardening, or B, application access controls, or C, application patch management, or D, application configuration baselines? Take a look at the question and answers and I'll give you a moment to pause the video and I'll come back in just a bit with the answer. All right then. And the best answer is going to be C application patch management. Patch management could have stopped this whole problem, could have prevented this whole thing from happening. This is not unacceptable. You know, you can't have this happen in most companies. So, uh, most companies that want to make money, that is. Can't have crashes during the middle of the workday. Now, the keys here in this question, the key phrases that we're looking for, first of all, obviously, update. Recently installed to a mission-critical application. If you have a mission-critical application, you have to be really, really careful with updates. And so application patch management is going to be the best answer here. Uh, and I break down patch management into four specific categories, four sections, and different companies will do this in different ways. This is how I do it, uh, but I break it down into the planning, testing, implementing, and auditing stages. So those are the four stages of patch management for me. Uh, it starts with planning. Before you do anything, you want to plan what you're going to do. And you want to make sure, first of all, is the patch necessary? And second of all, is it compatible with this system, with other apps on the system? With, is it compatible with that operating system level? Is it compatible with other systems? Uh, you got to check all this during the planning stage and start setting up a clean network, quote unquote, where you can actually do your testing which is the second stage before you actually deploy anything, whether it's on one system or many systems, uh, you got to test it. You got to have a test bed. This is, I mean, probably the best advice I could ever give test what you do before it goes live. So, you know, you should have systems that are reserved for testing only. And quite often virtual machines are not enough. You need physical systems to actually test this stuff properly. It's asking a lot, but uh, you really don't want to get caught, uh, you know, with a problem like this because it could mean your job. So test as much as possible before deployment. Then the third stage is implementation. If the testing is successful, then the patch should then be deployed to the system, the mission critical system, or, you know, you might be deploying it in an automated fashion to many systems. If you find when you start the implementation process that there's an issue or something you forgot, then stop immediately and go back to the test bed, go back to the drawing board and test it and make sure it all works. Then go back to implementation. And, uh, you know, in many cases you want to do this in the evening or over the weekend, you know, this crash that happened in the middle of the workday, that probably means that the update was done in, during the workday, honestly. So, you know, that's, that's a key phrase right there, too, middle of the workday. I mean, come on. Chances are, you know, if it's going to crash, it's going to crash when you do the update or right in the beginning of the workday when the server starts being used or the, whatever computer this is. So implementation. And when you do implement, again, make sure you do it evenings or weekends and you know, consider using uh, software that can automatically deploy updates in the correct manner.
And of course, if you do that, you know, have that in the testing phase as well. And I'm talking about uh, things like SCCM by Microsoft. Uh, and finally, the fourth stage, auditing. When the implementation is complete, you need to check the system. You need to audit it. You need to check the logs. You need to see what's going on. Uh, get some baselines going. Check the network data. Check the CPU. Uh, check the performance. And audit it that day and probably the next day and then a week after that. And make sure that you keep on checking that system and any affected systems, any systems that it talks to. Uh, you know, not every client, but any other servers that might be involved with that system. So those are the four stages, planning, testing, implementing, and auditing. Again, other companies might have a different patch management uh, process or methodology. So, you know, whatever, it's whatever your company uses. Go by the policies of your company, if at all possible. Now, the other answer is application hardening is, of course, important. Uh, you know, you want to make sure if you have an older OS of Microsoft, you want to have the latest service pack or you want to have the latest updates. But whatever hardening you do, it has to apply to your patch management method. Uh, access controls are also important, but, you know, that probably really had nothing to do with why this application crashed. But you do want to make sure that access controls are in place and uh, that nobody has access to something that's mission critical that they shouldn't have. And then application configuration baselines. That is also important. Uh, you do want to create baselines, but that is really just a part of that patch management. I mean, really, it's a part of uh, auditing the entire network, the entire set of servers and all your network devices. You want to have... Uh, baselines for everything in this case application baselines yes you should have that set up and you should have had it set up for the previous uh, version of the application and if you're going to update this guy you should have set up new baselines for the update so that you can check it like i say that day the next day and the week after that and so on so yes that's important but that's not really what's going to prevent the issue from happening again. It's that planning and testing before the implementation and implementing at the right time that would prevent this problem. That middle of the workday crash that is just, you just can't have, you can't have that. Uh, you can't have loss of data. You can't have loss of revenue because that will result in loss of employment. So that's the answer for the tech question of the day for application updates. And uh, I'm Dave Prouse. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact me at my website, davidlprouse.com.